Okay, so now I'm going to be walking through practice page 4-2. Um, on this practice page, we will need to use graph paper again because the images do not fit on the graphs that are given. So you can just use the back of the graph paper that we used in 4-1. Also, we will not be doing every single problem. You are only required to do the ones that I walk through with you and I'll be crossing out the other ones. Okay, so starting at the top, again, these do not fit on the graph, so just grab the graph paper from 4-1. Um, we're gonna flip it over and we're going to do one through four here. So for number one, and with these, um, you can't really do them all on the same graph, so we are gonna be doing separate graphs. So just starting with number one, I'm going to make a graph here. And then this lesson was all about reflection, so we're gonna be reflecting images now. Um, this image is going to be reflected over the x-axis, um, but for right now we just need to graph the original points. So two, one, two, point J, K is, oh, I just barely fit it on there, there's K. And L. So here we have a triangle. And the reflection is over the x-axis, which is right here. So what we need to do to reflect this is to put the points the same distance away on the other side. So point J here is one, two, three, four down. So we need to put it four up, one, two, three, four. And this will be J prime. So as you can see, the pre-image and the image will overlap here, but that's okay. As long as we follow our rules, it will be correct. L, we're just gonna put it one unit away on the other side, so this is L prime. And then K is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units up, so we have to put it seven units down. And here is K prime. So for my reflection, my new triangle is right here. And there it is. Okay, and number two, same idea. Now for number two, we are going to be reflecting over the y-axis. Number two, make a graph just like we did before. And then plotting our points. J is at five, three. So here is our pre-image, our original shape, and then reflecting over the y-axis this time, so this line right here. And just like before, we just bounce those points over to the other side, side same distance from the line of reflection, which is y-axis. So L is three units to the left, so now we're gonna put it three units to the right. So this is now L prime. J is one, two, three, four, five units away. So this is now J prime, and then K, just one over here. Then connecting the dots. And there we go. Okay, now for number three, we have new coordinates again and a new line of reflection. So just right under here, number three, you want to see how, let's see. Okay, so number three, making a graph again. And I'm gonna fold my paper so I'm closer to the actual directions. Okay, so my points are two, negative one for J. K is four, five, negative five. 
and L. So you have a triangle again. The line of reflection is X equals negative one. So X equals negative one is right here. So we're just going to draw a vertical line at that point. And then I need to reflect this shape over that line. So each point is gonna be the same distance away. J right here is three units to the right, so I need to make it three units over on this side. J prime L is one, two, three, four. So one, two, L prime. And K is one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then here is our image. Okay. Now we're going to do number four. Same idea, I'm going to make a graph for this one. The image falls kind of in this area, so I made my graph off to the side like this and plotting my points. And here is my original shape. And then the line of reflection is x equals two. So that's right here. So we're just going to do a vertical line at x equals two. And then I need to reflect this shape over the line. So k is gonna to bounce to the other side over here. So this will be k prime. j will be here j prime and then l is two units to the left so we'll just do it two units on the other side of the line connect my dots and there is our reflection okay so for these examples i'm going to stop there i'm actually going to cross out five through eight so you can cross those out as well we're not going to do those and then i will move down to 9 10 11 and 12. It says write a rule for the reflection. So right here I have A and A prime. What I'm going to do is look at what those points look like. Point A is at two zero and then A prime is at negative two zero. Um, so what's happening here? Well, X, Y, the X is changing sign so it's becoming the opposite sign and Y stays the same. So that is my rule. As A is reflected over the x-axis, x is changing, or over the y-axis, I'm sorry, x is changing signs, y is staying the same. Then for negative 10, or for 10, we are reflecting over the x-axis now. I need to look at what's happening with the points. I might choose C and C. So C is at one, two, three, four, five, six. It's at six, one. And C prime is at six, negative one. So it looks like the X is staying the same and the Y is changing sign. So my rule is X, Y then becomes X, negative Y. And then we'll continue. Down here, we are reflecting over the Y axis. Looking at point B, it's at negative one, negative one, B prime is at positive one, negative one. So as it's being reflected over the Y axis, X, Y is negative X, Y. So the X is changing signs, Y is the same. And then over here for 12, reflecting over the X axis now. Again, just take a point A, is at two one a prime is that is that two negative one and so x y is now becoming x stays the same y changes sign and so that's the rule so notice that these two reflected over reflect over y 
and they both had the same rule. Negative x turned negative, y stayed the same, same rule. And then reflect over x over here, the rule stays the same. Okay, now flipping over to the other the back. Now on the back, we are not going to do all this either. We're actually only going to do one of each. So we're gonna do number 13. We're not gonna do 14, 15, or 16. Now, if you want extra practice and wanna do them, that is fine. And then we're going to do 17 as well. The idea would be that we are going to try to stick to just this one piece of paper. We had this from 4-1, and then the back, we have four graphs in the top portion, and we're gonna do two more graphs in the bottom portion and that'll finish us off for the day. So 13 right here, we're just gonna kind of squeeze it in the corner. And in this bottom portion, just kind of draw a line over here. This is gonna be 17 over here. I need to leave space for 17. So 13, here's my coordinate plane for 13. Okay, so I'm going to graph the shape here. It's at one, two, three, four, five, six. This is A. B is at one, negative two. And C is at four, one. Here's my triangle. Now for this one, it says to reflect it over the line Y equals X. So what that line is, it would be like plus zero. So the y-intercept is zero, and our slope is one. So it's a diagonal, the positive slope. I'm going to highlight that line. So this is the line of reflection that we're going, going to be reflecting the shape over. Now for some of the points, it might be obvious where they land, but honestly, it's still hard to tell. I'm not even sure if I have some like human error in there. Um, what we can do for reflecting these points is actually use the rule. And the rule is for y equals x, xy becomes yx. So we can take each point. So point A and just taking it from the worksheet is 6, negative 3. B is 1, negative 2 and C is four, one. Okay, so then I can use the rule to get my new points. So negative three, six, I'm just switching the X and Y. Negative two, one, and one, four, and I can plot these points. So negative three, six, one, two. I can put A prime up there. Negative two, one, so this would be B prime, and one, four, one, two, three, four. Here is C prime, and here is our reflected shape. Okay, now 14, our last one, we have, or wait, I'm sorry, 17, our last one. Again, I'm gonna fold the paper so I can see the problem and my graph in the same frame. 17. So here are the points. I'm going to make my graph. A is at one, two. B is at four, two. And C is at three, negative two. Okay, so here is our original. And for this one, we're reflecting it over the line y equals negative x. So again, pretend like there's a plus zero, so our y-intercept is zero, and then it has a negative, a slope of negative one. So we down one over one, here is our line of reflection. Tracing that here. Now some of the points you may be able to reflect over pretty easily, but honestly, I'd rather just be sure. So I'm going to use the rule for the reflection of this. So for the line y equals negative x, the rule is xy becomes negative y, negative x. 
So we're going to take our points. So for A, it's 1, 2, B, 4, 2, and C is 3, negative 2. And then using the rule, we will get negative 2, negative 1, negative 2, negative 4, and positive 2, negative 3. So notice how the negative 2 then became positive because it's just, it's the opposite. Okay, so then using these coordinates, I can graph the reflection. Negative 2, negative 1, so here is a prime. Negative 2, negative 4, B prime, and 2, negative 3. 1, 2, 3. Is that right? Yeah. C prime. Three. And here is our reflected shape. Okay, so that's the last one that you're responsible for doing today. Um, if you have finished early before the bell, make sure that your Khan Academy is done for the week. And I will see you on Monday. Have a good weekend.